Good morning. You know what day it is when we pop up on your timeline. You're halfway to Friday. Welcome to Wednesday, hump day. Welcome to Jack's in Action. This is our weekly live show that allows us to come to you wherever you are, your home, your office. Maybe you stayed home from work today. Wherever you are, we want to let you know what's going on in our area. Yep, and plus we know having the forecast is an important part of making weekend plans. So our very own Garrett Beaton Ball will fill you in on the weekend weather. And we also have an exciting ticket giveaway. We're giving away tickets to the Gator Nationals in Gainesville. So stay tuned for how to win these tickets later in the show. And as always, make sure you share this post with your family and friends so you can all plan your weekend together. All right, please share, share with a friend, let that friend share with that friend. We want to get the word out about these awesome events and the tickets at the end of the show. Now we know at Action News Jacks, we have been working hard to make sure you had the latest on the coronavirus. We know that's on top of everyone's mind. And we just want to remind you that while we want you to practice good hygiene, stay aware, stay safe, good hand washing, it doesn't mean that we can't keep you up to date on the fun things happening around North Florida as well. We want you to get out and still be able to enjoy yourself. Later in the show, we're going to share with you some ways to get out and celebrate St. Patrick's Day early around town this weekend. So stay on the stream for that. But first, do you know that this week is MS Awareness Week? We're fortunate to have a special guest here today to spread awareness about multiple sclerosis and some of the fundraising opportunities coming up. And we're so glad to have you. We want to welcome the president of the National MS Society, North Florida chapter, Heidi Katz. Welcome. Thank you very much. We're so glad to have you. Very happy to be here. And I think that this is a great opportunity to explain. I think a lot of people don't necessarily understand what multiple sclerosis is. So let's start there. Sure. So multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disease that attacks the central nervous system. Uh, basically what it does is it demyelinates the nerves, which means it takes off the protective coating around our, nerve, our nerves, which creates a disconnect with the messaging from the brain to the body. So you can imagine the multitude of symptoms that people with MS will have. And now in terms of the National MS Society, tell me what role you guys play because people will watch this and naturally want to get involved. Absolutely. So we fund research, resource, ah, research to a cure. Mm -hmm. uh, basically our goal being to end MS forever, uh, but in the process also researching uh, for better treatments, better medication, ways that people with MS can live their best lives. Uh, we also support advocacy, so we do go to our local state capitals as well as Washington, D.C. to push forward issues that we feel are in the best interest of people living with MS. And then we also support local programs uh, and local services in across the country, really, uh, for people who are living with MS to be able to access that. And I think one of the best ways to start getting involved could be coming out to the walk. That's a great yes. first step. Tell us about yes. that. So we actually have two local walks. Mm -hmm. We have a walk in St. Augustine coming up on March 28th. Okay. We have our Jacksonville walk coming up on April 18th. And you can really uh, participate in any of our walks. Uh, the best place to find that is on our walk website, which is simply walkms.org. Put in your location and you will find a walk. That's awesome. Now I do want to ask, what inspired you to get involved? So honestly, to begin with, um, my background is in uh, healthcare, okay. and obviously there's a connection there with MS. I didn't really have a direct connection to MS that I knew of, mm -hmm. but like many of you out there, you have a direct connection, you don't even realize it. You are friends with somebody who is living with MS, who has a loved one living with MS. Um, and now, of course, having been with the society for the time that I have, I have so many friends and colleagues um, that live with MS and, and I fight for them and the close to one million other people in our country who are currently living with MS. Well, that's awesome. And I think that you're right. There are more of us that know people yes. living with it yes. um, or that have been affected by it than we realize. Yes. So the uh, opportunity to get involved and help and help raise money and push for resources. Yes. And that would be great for anyone to get involved with. Yes, absolutely. Now, was there anything that you want to tell us about the walks or anything else awesome going on that you guys have that I didn't sure. ask you? Sure. Well, this is National MS Awareness Week, mm -hmm. so it's our opportunity to uh, let the community know about MS and what we're doing. Again, there are close to a million people in our country that we know of living with MS and about 2.3 million nationwide. So it is a prevalent disease. 
Uh, we have our walks coming up, um, fundraising, donations, that's how we do the work that we do. Uh, just so you know, Friday uh, we are partnering with Kendra Scott at the Town Center. Uh, any jewelry sold between the hours of 5 and 7 in the evening, either in the store or you can call in and order, 20% of that will go towards the National MS Society, uh, which of course we appreciate. We have a big uh, event coming up also on April, uh, April 16th, lots going on in April. April 16th called our Dinner of Champions where we honor somebody in our community that's done good work. We're honoring Dr. Buster Browning this year. It is a huge fundraiser mm -hmm. for us. If you're interested, reach out. We'd be more than happy to get you connected uh, to come to the event and, and help us celebrate Dr. Browning uh, as well as raise money to, for a very, very good cause. And that is awesome. So you guys heard it. You have a lot of opportunities to get involved. You've got two walks. You've got Dinner with Champions. You can get out to Kendra Scott and shop for a good yep. cause. So make sure you find an avenue to get involved and we're so glad that you came out this well, morning. Well thank you so much for helping us spread the word and for having me here today. Absolutely and we want to make sure that we give you a recap just in case you missed that. Walk MS Jacksonville is Saturday April 18th at CSX and the Jacksonville River Walk. There is a one and three mile route to choose from so even if you've never done this before you can ease into it. You can come out and support. You coming out would just be wonderful. The site will be open at 8 a.m. and the walk starts at 9 30 a.m. And remember, this is a fundraising opportunity where every dollar makes a difference. So register online, set your goal, and walk for MS. And to find out more about this opportunity, you can visit walkms.org. All right, let's jump over to Ask Abby with this week's Ask the Ape. It's always something interesting going on. I can't wait to hear this week, Abby. <laughs> always something, Courtney. Thanks. So 95% of the time, I'm having a good time at work. We've all got cool jobs. I like what I do. But that other 5%, it's those workplace pet peeves that'll get you. Let's take a look. Today's internet question brought to you by the internet. Um, <laughs> more Thank specific, you, internet. More specifically, <laughs> Twitter. Uh, the hashtag at work, I can't stand hashtag was trending yesterday. So we ask, what's your at work pet peeve? What's something that happens maybe here mm -hmm. at work? that you can't stand. This is where I'm gonna ask all my bosses to turn off this video. Please turn off this video. Mute now and you can't hold this against us. Mute now. Um, there's someone stanking up our bathroom. I gotta be honest <laughs> with you. Like I go into the women's bathroom on oh, like a Tuesday no. and I literally, like this isn't a joke. Like I wouldn't normally make bathroom jokes on the radio like I'm not 12, yeah. but I will walk into that bathroom and, you're like, and I got people to back me up. I'll open the door and it'll literally be like, <laughs> It's miserable. I don't know what y'all be eating, but like, stop. We need to we need to fix that. That's hilarious. It's I don't, so I don't think that happens in the guy bathroom. I'll That's be honest what I'm with saying. you. I'm like, did I walk into the wrong bathroom? Is mm -mm. it is this the dude's room? No, the dude's room smells great. It's minty fresh in there. Um, yeah, maybe I should go into that one. <laughs> yeah, let's start using that one. It's 2020. No, the um, thing that upsets me the most, and I understand they have to happen sometimes, but the reply alls that sometimes happen in this building are insane. I'll come into work and I'll have like 50 missed emails and it will be from one like, anybody want these tickets? And then it's like, I ah, want nah, these nah, tickets. <laughs> then they're all talking and about. And then someone makes a joke like, oh, of course you want those tickets. Right. I don't know. So reply alls can really, that, there should be like an unsubscribe button or I just need to have a meme that says unsubscribe and I can just reply all that and that shows I want everything to stop. Because there was one person that did respond like, hey, can we chill on the reply alls? And everyone was like, oh my God, this Jeez. guy's so mad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we really should just start throwing shade, like start sending memes like, yeah, y'all really need to do reply alls again. We really need a reply all for this. Let's do no. it again. So uh, let us know what your at work pet peeve is. Uh, maybe it's something that we don't have here at the office, so we're interested to we hear. we got lots of issues. I, I'd, be, I'd be surprised if there's anything <laughs> new. There's a lot of loud people here, and I'm one of them. I'm very loud in the hallways. I'll be walking, and I see people closing their doors. I'm like, yep, they heard me coming. <laughs> I'm one of those people. I'm just saying, it's radio. I can't be quiet. It doesn't work that way. Comment what yours is below. We will uh, answer them and take them tonight on the show. And if you have a question that you want us to answer, an internet question, you can submit it at WAPE.com. We give out so many tickets all the time. I think we should just turn that reply all button off. For
for every employee giveaway. Y'all listening up in management, thank you. <laughs> My inbox would be so appreciative, but let us know what your work pet peeve is in the comments below. And don't forget to tune into After Hours every evening at 7 p.m. on 95.1 WAPE. Courtney, I think we can both agree our boy Ed behind the camera gets on our nerves each week, right? Oh, yeah, we can agree on that. <laughs> we get to share that with people once we get this Ed cam going. I want to put that out in the universe because you all will love it. <laughs> all right, let's talk about what's happening this weekend in North Florida. Take the date, save the date for St. Patrick's Day. There's a block party in the historic Springfield area. From 1 to 9, Main Street between 6th and 8th Street will be closed and filled in with live music, food, beverages, vendors, and various other St. Patty's Day activities. Shop local, that's always an awesome opportunity. Drink local and have a great time locally. This event is free and any proceeds from the event will be donated to Groundwork Jacksonville. To find out more, click the link in the comments section below. And this Sunday, the Seawalk Pavilion will be filled with vendors galore from the nine, for the 904 pop-up spring break party. Came out to the beaches to enjoy food trucks like What's the Catch and Pizza Brigade, as well as live music from bands like Temple Rates and Universal Green. The event is free and open to the public. And to find out more, click the link in the comments section below. St. Augustine will be transformed into a Celtic celebration this weekend. The 2020 St. Augustine Celtic Music and Heritage Festival will feature Celtic performers from around the world, Highland Games, Celtic and local food offerings, and Celtic handcrafted merchandise. Festival organizers are working with the City Council to closely monitor the coronavirus situation. And as of now, the festival is still set to happen. For updates on this and more information, you can visit the link in the comment section below. It's that time of the year. The Players' Championship is happening at TPC Sawgrass, and we have had beautiful weather for it. Today is the last practice day ahead of the championship, and the competition, like I said, kicks off tomorrow. But we have to fill you in on some of the great festivities going on in and around the main event. So yesterday, I had the chance to talk with a very special guest about the Rolls-Royce Players' Party happening this Friday. Let's go ahead and take a look. The Players' Championship is in full swing, and I'm here with two-time PGA Tour winner Lynn Matisse. Hello. Hi, Courtney. He's going to be talking to us about his foundation and the many charities it supports for our kids, our babies, and our community. We're so glad to have you. So let's get right into it. Talk to me about the Lynn Matisse Foundation. Yeah, sure. So we've been around since 2000, and we raise money for the First Tee of North Florida, mm -hmm. which is a big golf kids group covers over 150,000 kids in seven counties in North Florida. So we do monthly events for them. Uh, we do nine hole events and then we do an end of the year big event to raise money and awareness for them. It's interesting with that because we, when we do the monthly events, mm -hmm. we bring golf club uh, members and amateur golfers and we combine them with the juniors. As well as we have a Stop the Bullying campaign here in Duval County. So we're uh, involved with kids from fourth grade all the way to 12th grade and we do monthly initiatives with them to kind of help kids engage kids in promoting that awareness to get rid of that bullying. I think that's awesome to be able to expose children to golf so early because there's so many awesome things happen on the golf course, of course, besides the sport, but just the networking and just it's a whole different atmosphere. So for a kid to be able to learn it, it kind of kind of sets them on a path for success, so to speak. Yeah, definitely. And playing a round of golf or hitting golf balls, people people feel it's almost like a little bit of mini life because when you hit a golf ball good you're having you're like a really great shot and there's like the up moments in golf and then sometimes you whiff the ball or you top the ball or you hit a bad shot and those could be kind of the down moments of even people that what they encounter in a day so even day to day it teaches you a lot about maturity and you know patience and hard work and all those good values that we take for granted Absolutely. And now I know you were just telling us about the about the charities and organizations that you were involved with, but there's got to be money and support from the community to keep that going. And that's where this Rolls Royce player party comes into play. So I know everyone heard Rolls Royce and they were like, oh, perked up. So tell us <laughs> about this party. Well, we're very fortunate that we have great partners. We have great corporate partners like Rolls Royce mm -hmm. and we have this huge party coming up Friday night. It's one mile away from TPC. We're going to have 50 volunteers there, but the big thing of that night is when people come, they can do a chipping game, 
and they can do a putting game. And if you make the shot, you'll get to drive away with a Rolls Royce for a week. See, now that sounds simple, but folks, <laughs> I'm telling you, start practicing now so you can make that shot. Now, people watching are going to want to know, are tickets still available to the public? We are taking additional tickets. Uh, you just can't kind of walk up to the house and come in. We're going to have high security around there. But we have great partners like Sassine's office uh, that's handling a lot of that. We have um, Capitol Grill providing the food. We have a great Chris Thomas band that's playing. So we have music, we got the food, we got the drinks, we have golf games, and we have Rolls Royce. That's awesome. And there are sponsorship packages too, right? Yeah, there are. And um, people can call the number and find out. And this is kind of, this party's kind of a celebration for our foundation. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a thank you to our partners as well and to bring in more people to find out uh, what we're about, what we do, and we're really catered, as we talked about, about the, with the kids. And it's great that you're working to combat bullying because in a time where bullying doesn't only happen at school, now you've got social media that amplifies it. So it's great that you have community stakeholders coming together, invested in trying to fight against it. Yeah, thanks. And what we're doing is uh, we are raising money and awareness of, for that. Mm -hmm. and. It's really for the kids that really, like you're saying, can't get away from it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's 24 seven. I mean, even if kids don't deal with social media, their friends are dealing with social media and their friends are telling them mm -hmm. that what, what's being said about them and stuff. And, you know, it's not just not a healthy thing for the community. Now, I know that you did, we do have some balls here. You do have your golf club. I brought a club. <laughs> I brought a sand wedge. Now, I don't know how far <laughs> out that they can pull out to see this, but. I brought a sand wedge for you. <laughs> you don't want so to So this me. is actually a sand wedge, a okay. club that we would chip with in right? the Rolls Royce party. Okay, so this is what, something so, that we would use in the, in the contest. When we and, come and by the way, at the party, right? I've invited 60 of my tour player friends, people that are playing in the Players' Championship. And now you all see why I said you need to start practicing so you have a chance to so, take this ride in the I mean, race. legit, I've invited <laughs> Jason Day and Ricky Fowler and Rory McIlroy. Some will make it to the party and they'll just show up. And they'll show up for a half hour. Some will stay for a couple hours. And um, as a kind of a thank you to me and what, the, what we're trying to do for the foundation. So we're going to have this chipping, uh, this chipping game. And like I said, it's just... Basically, if you, you know, you chip from like, I don't know, like from here to the end of your driveway. And if you make that little 20 yard shot kind of thing, you're going to drive a Rolls Royce. See, look at that. Okay. So that so means that if so, I was here and how far would I have to? <laughs> Corey Sim so, is laughing at me. It's not funny. This is all right. So this okay. is great. So let's just maybe move these a little bit. Okay. So you have a little room to swing. Right. There okay, you guys, go. I'm trying to have a little form and here. And you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, it's a good grip. Okay. Let's actually, just turn this over a little bit. There you go. That's okay. a good grip. Okay. So now it's a little like chip of a swing, like a half, half swing. Okay. You don't have to take a whole big swing. Yeah, just like maybe yeah, a little right. bit longer. And then wait a minute, we're going to do a little bit of a break in the wrist a little you know it's like when the club kind of comes off the ground the wrist break right and then it comes down and then it goes through like that so go ahead and you want to go give it a try just just smack that ball there, there you see, go that right? was the winning shot you all just couldn't see where so it went you might that ball might have gone in the hole and now like can, can you can you feel it <laughs> i can You're feel it You're with a little more roll. practice i can feel it <laughs> be fun for sure and definitely for a good cause which is what it all comes down to and we're so glad that you came in to talk to us about it got a little active with us <laughs> is there anything you want to make sure that we know that I didn't ask you well listen I mean the players championship it's a big week mm -hmm. it's a big week they're playing for 15 million dollars in purse money so the players are serious but some of them will come to the party we're just very fortunate to be able to have great corporate sponsors we're gonna have about 300 400 people at this party through the night so it'll be a great time uh, if you can come come join us and come support the foundation and all the money all the money that we raise mm -hmm. goes right to kids programs so we're really proud about that we have no administration no program cost so we we're 100 percent so we're really proud about that and we're just getting started
You hear that? All the money is going to our baby. So let's recap. The Rolls Royce Player Party is happening this Friday between 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. That means you have time to get out there. This is in Ponte Vedra. And everyone, you know, it's just an exciting atmosphere. It's the Players Championship Week. You can go out and support the babies. Okay, so the, the party with all the celebrities and Lynn Matisse and his friends. And there's no reason for you not to be there. It'll be an awesome atmosphere. And like I said, practice a little bit so you can have your chipping and putting skills in play so you can win a Rolls Royce for a week. Who doesn't want that? And the best part of this, again, is that all proceeds benefit the Lynn Matisse Foundation, and then they go on to support the First Tee of North Florida and the Foundation's Stop the Bullying campaign, which is awesome. And the Lynn Matisse Foundation is still looking for corporate sponsors, so if you're interested, call Kendall Pollock at 407 873-0115. And of course, for more information, visit lynnmatisse.com. All right, that wraps up this weekend's event. Let's jump over to Garrett Beatonball to find out what weather we'll be dealing with this weekend. Hi, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Gary Beaton. While this weekend's looking pretty nice, we're going to be starting off mild in the mornings in the 60s, going into the 70s pretty quickly, but it will be mainly dry on Saturday. If you're heading out to TPC Sawgrass for the players, going to be looking fine for Saturday and Sunday for the final round of the players. No woes weather-wise. We'll see temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80 all the way out to the beaches on Sunday. A few more clouds at the coast on Sunday. We'll be in the mid to upper 70s uh, there for daytime highs. So all in all, a pretty nice weekend to go outside and enjoy. I hope you have a great weekend. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Garrett Beatonball. All right, that's the end of the show, and we're so glad you watched with us. But before we let you go, it's that time, the end of the show, mm -hmm. time for the giveaway. That's right. We have several tickets and a VIP pass to the NHRA Gator Nationals to give away. This sounds like something you want to go to, then all you have to do is three things. You got to like this post, you got to share this post, and comment on Gator Nationals in the comment section below. And let us know. We want you to win. And as always, thanks for joining us here on Jackson Action, and we'll see you next week. Good luck. There's Ed. Oh, we love Ed. Give us a solo. Okay.